We all dream of being superheroes. Some of us want to fight crime like Batman. Some of us want to serve our country like Captain America. Some of us even want to fight the aliens like the Guardians of the Galaxy. But there are people amongst us who are real life superheroes. These superheroes fight against the real world problems. You're watching hashtag trending on VG official and this video shall tell you everything you need to know about the real life superhero called Batman. If you are old enough, you must be aware of menstruation. Commonly called as periods, it is a phase which every fertile female across the globe has to go through. Despite being a natural phenomenon, it is still a taboo to speak about it in the open in many countries around the world. Generally, women use sanitary napkins or sanitary pads during menstruation. But these pads come at a cost. Imagine a female who belongs to a lower class income group and is unable to buy such a basic necessity. She has to either skip stepping out of her house for those many days or simply use a piece of rag. One such female was Shanti from India. She used to collect filthy rags in newspapers so that she could use them as an alternative to a sanitary pad. Soon her husband found out and thus began the journey of Padman. Arunachana Murugunantham was astonished to see his wife use these dirty rags which he wouldn't have even used to clean his bicycle with. His wife explained to him that they cannot afford the sanitary pads made by multinational companies and she was left with no choice but to use such rags in newspapers. Arunachalam took upon himself to make hygienic low-cost pads. He started off by designing experimental pads made out of cotton but his wife and sisters rejected them as they weren't good enough to control the blood flow. Since menstruation is a topic of taboo in India, they stopped helping him out in this. Soon he realized that the raw materials required to build a single pad costed 10 paise which is equal to 0.002 US dollars but the final product was sold at 40 times the price. After his wife and sisters stopped helping him out, he started looking for other female volunteers but most of them were too shy to participate. He then started started testing it on himself using a bladder of animal blood. He used to wear the pad and let the animal blood leak onto the pad he wore and would travel as usual on his bicycle. But soon the secret was out and the people of his village ridiculed his madness and he was ostracized by his community and family. He then decided to distribute his product for free to girls in a local medical college and asked them to return the used pads to him. After nearly two years, he realized that the commercial pads had cellulose fibers which were derived from pine bark wood pulp. It was these fibers that helped the pad absorb the blood while still retaining its shape. The machines that made such pads costed a mountain of 35 million rupees. But that was not going to stop Arunachalam. He devised a low-cost machine that could be operated with minimal training. He even sourced and processed pine wood pulp from Mumbai and his machine would create pads and even sterilize them under ultraviolet before packing them for sale. The machine he invented costed just rupees 65,000 or roughly a thousand US dollars. In 2006, he showcased his idea at the IIT Madras where they registered his innovation for the National Innovation Foundation's Grassroots Technological Innovations Award and his idea won that award. This helped him obtain funds and he started Jayashree Industries which still did provides these machines to rural women across India. His machine has been praised for its simplicity so much so that he even got offers from several corporates to commercialize his venture. Being the superhero he is, he refused to sell out and continued to provide these machines to women who need them. Murugunantham's invention has not only eased out the lives of women but has also created jobs for them. These machines have reached out to women in 23 Indian states and he is planning to expand the production to 106 countries. In 2014, the Time magazine placed him in its list of 100 most influential people in the world. In 2016, he was awarded with Padma Shri by the government of India. He might have not completed his education but he has given lectures in IIT Bombay, IIM Ahmedabad, IIM Bangalore and even at the Harvard University. He has also given a TED talk, the link to which is put up in the description below. Amit Virmani made a documentary on him called The Menstrual Man and R. Balki has made a film called Padman featuring Akshay Kumar in the lead role. So the next time when you discuss superheroes with someone, don't forget to mention our very own Padman, Arunachalam Murugunantham. If you too feel inspired by knowing about him, please hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel to inspire us to make more such videos. You can inspire others by sharing this video with them. Thank you for watching this on BG Official. Goodbye.